record. So welcome to Art 244 on Wednesday night. I've got several pieces that have come in under the door or over the transom um, that are finished pieces that we can talk about. And without getting permission from the people who brought them in here, I wanted to show them to everybody, everybody, so that you can kind of see what's going on among some of your um, friends and neighbors. So this is the um, giraffe that, and it's about a medium sized piece. It's about eight inches tall giraffe. And this as a solid bronze casting is going to kind of run in about the 25 to $30 range. And so we talked about this to see whether indeed this person wanted this cast or not. And I'm doing a little, a few modifications on it and we'll cast it up. I also got this dinosaur. Now this is kind of a cartoon sort of happy, fun dinosaur. It's got a lot of, I don't know, Barney the purple dinosaur or other kinds of dinosaur um, influences going on with this dinosaur. But I love the three little points on top that's kind of stegosaurus sort of. And it's a four-legged dinosaur and it's got the dinosaur eyes and the dinosaur nose, kind of uh, crocodilian. And I like that a lot. So that's fun. This piece is relatively small. And so this will only be about $5 worth of bronze to cast this piece. And it's gonna be just a happy little piece. And that's wonderful. Ah, ah. Okay, another one that came in um, was Zoe's piece. And so we've got these lips with these teeth in here and you can see those teeth, can't you? They're just amazing and wonderful. Now she had explained this to me because I didn't exactly know what I was looking at here. But not only is it a sculptural representation of a mouth, lips, and teeth, but this is also supposed to be an ashtray so that you can put a joint right here while you're smoking a joint. Um, there are supposed to be two holes that are drilled diagonally into the corners of this thing for incense. So this could be an incense holder and an incense burner, and it could triple you know, as an ashtray. So, Look at that sculpture that is utilitarian and wonderful. And although we don't uh, promote the use of uh, drugs or anything in our classes or at the college, you know, that was, that's kind of nice. And, you know, this goes a long way from the days when we would like destroy anything that came in here that looked like a bong or something that people could smoke through because now this is kind of, this is, well, and this is nice too, because this is a sculpture. This is a sculpture that can be also used for stuff. So there's all of that. So what have you brought me here today? Oh my gosh. So Aurora has brought in her um, octopus and this, oh my gosh, look at that octopus. So this is the front. So the head is right in here and you can kind of see the two eyes looking at you. And the octopus is moving. It's kind of like, um, uh, ambulating across the sea floor or floating or something. I just love this thing. Oh my gosh. So what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> so it's done and it looks like it's ready for casting. And then, okay. So I've been asked to kind of work with, um, uh, on this dancer and try to do, I don't know, to do stuff with the dancer. So what do you think? Uh, you were like getting all the marks and stuff out of it. Okay, so every time that I do it, something breaks off. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Well, let me change camera angles here so that they can see from the top down. I think this is the right camera. Something like that. Okay. I'm gonna pull this towards me so that this is right over my workspace, and then I'm gonna work with this for a while. So, have you been using the serrated edge of this kind of Italian sculpting tool kind of thing? Yes. Yeah, okay. So I see, oh, here we go. I see some of the serrations here. And so let's see, I wanna work up here in the shoulder area and I might wanna, if I'm smoothing and if I happen to like make the armpit just a little bit deeper or reduce just a little bit of mass or shape here, would that be okay or would that hurt your feelings? Okay. So I'm gonna be kind of working in here to, um, um, I'm gonna be pulling material out of here as kind of part of a smoothing process, but I'm also maybe gonna make that just a little bit smaller. So I'm kind of working under 
in the armpit and where the um, latissimus dorsi are running up and down the side of the rib cage right here. And the ribs kind of come around here into the sides of the breast forms. Breast form is really nice, but I see like one little bumpy thing like right here on the top surface you know, of this form. The foot's been getting me. And so I'm just trying to kind of scrape it off, cut it off or whatever. I don't know if there are hard spots of wax mixed into the soft spots of wax or what. I'm so so I'm, I'm now up on top of the, um, the deltoid muscle on top of the shoulder. And so I'm gonna kind of be looking at the transition from the deltoid, from the deltoid into the bicep here on the, on the top surface of the forearm and just kind of, so I'm working diagonally across the surface and I've got my other hands or fingers kind of on the opposite side of the sculpture so that I don't put too much pressure on it to break it while I'm trying to do things. And then I'm gonna work diagonally around the form like that, voila, something like that to make that work, okay. Um, so this kind of just uh, turned into um, the James Sculpting Show, which is not the most terrible thing in the world as I'm working on that. And so I, I'm looking at this shoulder and the, um, what is that? What did I just call that M muscle? I can't remember now. Cause I'm getting old and with old age, like comes like dementia and death and all that kind of stuff. Um, as I get underneath here and I get upside down with this, I'm also seeing a possibility of getting the hollow part of that armpit to kind of extend underneath the bottom side of the arm. So there's a slight hollow here where these muscles kind of come together. Um, let's see, God, I just lost that muscle name because it still isn't coming to me. But we've sort of got pectoral muscle that is underneath the, the breast form tissue. So a little bit of the pectoral muscle coming in here and attaching and this shoulder muscle on top. I'm just trying to kind of work the transition from the side of the neck uh, into that form and that kind of thing there. And, you know, I'm just kind of digging around here, but not just digging, I'm also smoothing and blending as I go, trying to find, um, you know, kind of where those forms want to be and either making them a little bit more defined and pronounced or smoothing the transition kind of between them. And it just, it kind of depends on what your sensibilities are and where you're coming from. But I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to get, if I can do this on camera for you guys to see, oh, I lost my head. Okay, so I'm gonna put my head back on and that's a thing. Okay, so her head goes on like that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of welding right here, right now. So I'm gonna hold this in place and do this. So off camera, I've got my torch and I'm lighting that up. Light them up if you got them. So the torch is coming almost into the frame of the camera. And so I'm uh, heating up my knife, uh, five to eight seconds of heating the knife blade in the propane. I'm gonna try not to burn my face off as I do this. I'm gonna plunge the knife into her neck. Oh God, this sounds so terrible. And then let it, and then don't hang around in there because all you're gonna do is transfer a whole lot more heat into the neck form. What I want is for this room temperature wax to freeze off the uh, molten wax in the weld zone. And when that stuff hardens up, it forms all of its own little microcrystals and it becomes a lot stronger structure in there. So I'm gonna turn this over and go over to the other side and find the other side of the neck and do the same thing over on that side. So she cut her neck, rewelded on a couple times. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. There's an awful lot of weight, and you know, there's there's uh, a lot of weight in the hair form, yeah. and so then it you know becomes something that. Uh, puts a lot of strain on the neck form. So I've just 
you know, as quickly as I could, less than half a second, I was into the neck and then I was back out again and allowing the, all of the cold wax on both sides of it to be the heat sink to pull the heat out of that place where I welded it. And, but now I wanted to come in again because I'm crazy that way. I'm going to take a little piece of wax between my thumb and my forefinger, just like that. I'm going to lay that piece of wax right in here where the, where the weld zone was and a lot of my wax melted and flowed into the weld. And so I'm going to do a little bit of, a little bit more welding, deposit that more wax into that spot, just by touching it with the knife like that. I got another person who just walked in here. That must be my day for visitors. Hello. Hello. We're in here. Hello. Oh my gosh. Yet another student has come and joined us tonight. So that's cool. So as that part of the neck is welding, I, I kind of crazily wanted to um, go back to the other side of the head. Now I am supporting this big head and hair form with my finger so that it isn't trying to put any undue stress on the freshly welded neck that I just did. But I'm going to, again, between my thumb and forefinger, roll a little piece of wax out and deposit it right there in the joint and try to hit it with a, with a hot knife again to let it um, uh, kind of freeze up a little bit. And that gives me a whole lot more um, material in the neck, and I'm going to hold it while the cooler wax is acting as a heat sink and pulling all the heat out of that system and letting that wax um, freeze up and develop its microcrystals without flexing back and forth or anything. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And when that's all cooled off like that, hopefully, we're going to have a really strong neck that we can work with. Let's see, what do I want to do here? That's what I kept doing. <laughs> That's what you kept doing over and over again. I might have to do something like add some more material to the back of the head, where the back of the head um, and the back of the neck and the top of the shoulders all come together. Did you add more material in there too? I tried. You tried. Okay, well, see, we're all on the same page here, which is really good. Definitely. I so, just need your like expert eye on it. <laughs> I've been trying to like mess with this thing for the last two weeks. And it's driving you crazy. Yeah, I'm at that point where I'm like, I could just send it in, get it in bronze. But yeah. I'm trying to get it as good as possible before I do that. Well, I'm going to take my tool, which is smaller than my fingertips, and I'm going to pick up this piece of wax right here on the tip of my tool. I'm going to take it and deposit it down in here where nobody can see but it is right up against the back of the neck so that I've got a little bit extra material in there. And then I'm gonna reach in there with the, um, no, you gotta turn loose of me. You can't just keep sticking to me. You gotta turn loose, there we go. Get back down in there, okay. And then with the knife, I'm going to weld that in place. And hopefully with welding this neck on three sides, it'll be a little stronger for a little longer. I can't guarantee anything. It's one of those things, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. So while this is cooling off in my hands, I'm just going to investigate the back of this shoulder form right here and see if there's anything I can do with it or the back of this elbow. So when I'm looking at elbows, I really think that elbows kind of come to a point. And so if I see anything that isn't a really nice tapering form towards the pointy elbow, I'm liable to kind of like take a little bit of the material off so that I can get this form right here to curve and come to this uh, point. I think that um, um, in the architecture and the landscape of the body, uh, some of these landmarks that are really important places for the eye to come to a rest and then change direction are important. So um, kneecaps, elbows, elbow bones, you know, stuff like that are, are a big deal for me. And so I try to reinforce whenever possible. I like that forearm, that's nice. And so over here on this arm, I'm also gonna just investigate this elbow. And if I can, if I may, can I kind of make 
this elbow right here just a little bit more defined. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to just maybe pull out a little bit of material from that side of the elbow. And I'm going to pull just a little bit of material from this side of the elbow here, kind of making the two dimples that happen on either side of the elbow bone. And then we may just kind of migrate or move this elbow um, downstream a little bit. And that's going to give us the sense of elongating the, the upper arm. And it's going to shorten up the forearm just a little bit. All I have to do is move and migrate that elbow that way. And um, it changes you know, the, all, the, all the proportions in the arm. If I can get it to get off of my finger. And so I'm going to do just a little bit of that and move that elbow just a little bit over that way and try to define that elbow a little bit. Even as the forearm comes to an end right here, it also, you know, kind of falls into that just little, um, that little dimple that's on one side of the elbow or the other. There's a dimple on this side and a little dimple depression on that side. And so if I can then kind of work the arm contours going away from that in both directions. Careful, that arm likes to fall off. That arm wants to fall off. Okay, I'm gonna try oh, not to. Oh, okay. So this just, I'm trying to get this, the line and the curve of the upper arm right here to kind of come in and just do its thing. So deltoid, it's a deltoid muscle that I was trying to think of. The top round form on the shoulder right here is the deltoid. And we just want to kind of look and see where those deltoids are and make them a little bit more well-defined as they are kind of, as the deltoid kind of ends and the rest of the arm kind of flows out away from it. I just want this, the, the ridge of this uh, muscle that is the pectoral muscle that kind of comes right up and flows into the deltoid here to just do its little thing and the deltoid and all of that. So, you know, crazy as it may sound, I'm going to hand this kind of back to Aurora for uh, her to kind of look at. And I might even give her this tool. I have tools. You have tools. Okay. And so you can look and play with this now and see if I did anything to it that actually was helpful. And oh, that'd yeah. be a good thing. What did you bring me? Give me those things. Okay, so do I have to put the hamburger on the table? I mean, it, it fell off on the way here. Yeah, okay. So I put it back on. Okay, so this, this was never like welded together with a hot knife. I and have anything to do with those. It, it doesn't, well, I, I, I was about to say it doesn't have to be, but it kind of does have to be. I think I'm going to weld this hamburger together. Is that okay with you? Okay. All right. So I'm going to take, how much of this hamburger can I get off of here? I got the whole hamburger in my hand. And so I was going to look and see if I can get the bun off of the meat or the cheese. No, those are welded on pretty good. So all I have to do is weld that hamburger bun to the tabletop. And so I'm going to do that and then it won't fall apart during the casting process. So back in action again with this. So I'm gonna heat up my knife and then I'm gonna do a really quick, um, you know, I won't be able to do it again kind of thing, once in a lifetime thing here where I'm just gonna go bloop like that. And so I kind of glued the hamburger bun down onto the tabletop so that it can't move. No, so I'm going to look at the soda and see how well attached it is or the milkshake to this thing. It's attached real well. And then I just wanted to see, I've got two, two legs that are a little bit longer and two legs that are a little shorter. Do you want this table to be level yeah. when it sets? So is that okay if I trim the two legs that are a little bit longer and, and that won't hurt your feelings? Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn off my 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 hot thing my hot damn thing i'm going to turn take about an eighth of an inch off the bottom of that table leg and i'm going to take about 
somewhere between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch off of the bottom of that table leg. I'm going to try that again. It's closer. It's closer to level. level. I want to look at it a couple of different ways. It's, it's better. I would still like to shave just a little bit more off of these two because they were the long legs. But I am now going to be shaving uh, material off of these legs. So I took a 32nd off of that one. I'm going to take a 32nd off of this one and see how that sits and fits. Don't you get close to use like your hot plate to make it that perfectly even? This leg is just short. You know, I want to take one of these pieces of leg and actually stick it on there to, to make it longer. But, you know, that's going to like take. I have a question. Yes. Ask away whoever you are. This Who is are you? Amanda. Samantha. Do I have a Samantha? Amanda. 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 Oh, Samantha. God. All right. Where are you, Amanda? So. Yes. Where, where, hi, uh, this question I have. Yes, this question. Um, what do you want me to do with my um, wax sculptures I have made? Oh, I want you to bring them over here um, at your convenience. Do you ever come to this end of campus? Well, I'm in my car right now and I can drop them off right now. Would you want me to do that? Yeah, if you're over near Eden Hall, br bring them on up. I've got the west door unlocked and propped open and you can bring them on in. That'd be fantastic. We're having a party over here right now. There's a lot Beautiful. of us here. Okay, I will be there in a second. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Coming back to me, I'm going to, um, with a hot knife, I'm going to weld this leg on and change it around a little bit. So I put a little tiny piece of wax on the bottom of this leg and now with a hot knife, and I'm sorry you guys don't have hot, a hot tool easily available to a lot of you, but I'm gonna take this hot knife and do that to kind of weld that on. And as soon as that cools off, I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees and I'm gonna weld it like that. Woohoo! And turn it another 90 degrees and take my hot knife and weld it like that. And I'm gonna bring some of that wax right up the leg with me so that it kind of has a uniform thickness the whole way. That's three edges out of four. The last thing I have to do is weld this backside of this leg. So I'm gonna kind of touch it with a hot knife and do that thing again. So I've done the hot knife magic and made this leg longer. I got to kind of let it cool off because it's now a skosh too long, of course, because it's still a rocky table and it's rocky because that leg is long. So I'm going to let that cool ever so slightly. And I had no idea how hard this was to do with a mask on, you know, sculpting with a mask on is not easy. So now I'm going to try to slice this leg. <sighs> and of course, it disintegrated when I made my slice. So check that to see how level it is. And now, oh God, it sits level at everything. That's wonderful. So I'm going to uh, heal up what I destroyed on that leg with a hot knife. Coming back at you again with this and this and that. Amanda's going to be outside in her car pretty soon. That's frightening. All right. All right. So when that cools off, that's gonna be good to go. And so I have a table. I have a table with a hamburger and a milkshake on it. And that's gonna get cast. And you know, that's one of the nicest, happiest little happy meals and um, you know, pop art pieces that I have ever seen. That's a beautiful, awesome little sculpture. That's cool. That's yeah, good. I want American diner? American dining, yeah. Okay. There's so the deer, the deer. Okay. So, so I've got a deer. And so it's got uh, antlers on top. We got like uh, two points, four points. Got, got the four point antler thing going here. And then our snout is a little bit short. Can I fix that at all? Would you would you mind if I played with that a little bit? Okay, so I've got to weld the head onto the neck just a little bit because it looks like there's a crack and it might not be on there really tight. 
So I'm just going to hit this with a hot knife here and here to try to weld that in a little bit better. And I'm going to put a little bit more material in there. I'm going to roll it between my thumb and forefinger and wrap it around there so that I've got just a little bit more material to work with in that weld zone and weld it in here with my smoking knife because that's what we do. Okay, and flip it around the other way. All right. So you got to forgive me. I forgot your name already. I can't believe that I've done that. So what's your name again? Robert. You're Robert. You're Mr. Green. You're the famous Mr. Green. All right. That's cool. That's fantastic. What did I do with my sculpting tool? Did you steal my sculpting tool? No. no. All right. Oh, it's right behind the keyboard. Oh, gosh. If it was a snake, yes. I'd be dead by now. All right. So I love these little sculptures and sculpting tools anyway. So, 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 so. Um, while this is uh, all kind of cooling off again, um, I wanted to investigate this. So we've got this kind of as a mount that would hang on the wall. It's the head mount of a, a deer. And so we've got the eyes on there and the eyes are really cool. And I might want to maintain all of the cartoon feature of this. This kind of feels a little bit like Matt Groening. It feels a little bit like um, uh, Simpsons and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Is that what you wanted? You got because you got the big, the, the, big eyes. the rig big round eyes kind of feel like that. So I was gonna maintain all of that, but Never maybe to, like, make actual eyes. okay. And here comes Amanda. Yay, Amanda is here. Hey, come on in. Yeah, you can go in through there. Okay, so Amanda's coming in with her sculpture stuff. This was not like planned to be, you know, y'all come, but everybody came and that's fine too. So come on in. So you can put your stuff on the thing right there. And that's cool. You're probably done. And you, it looks like you came straight from practice. So there's that too. I'm so Oh, So how's the season going? It was good. So we just got out of quarantine. So we don't see the game. Oh gosh. But we're making them up as we go. Okay. So as we can see by the side view, uh, the profile view of this, we're now getting a snout kind of established where the mouth and nose kind of sticks out sort of, you know, like, well, I call it a snout because, you know, it's, it's like a dog. It's like all of these other animals that kind of have a long nose mouth form, um, long jaws and stuff that kind of come forward a little bit. And so now the idea is, okay, for a deer, and if I was going to do a deer in the style of Matt Groening, how far do I go with that nose? And so I'm going to hand it back to the artist himself, and I can give you some little pieces of wax if you want to play with it. Sure. Um, I'll if, it up, but I'll try. Oh, you're going to mess it up. Okay, well, as long as you do that, that's cool. And Amanda's bringing her thing over, so let's bring in our next guest. It's another dinosaur. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Gosh, it's taco. taco. Is this a dinosaur from a movie that I don't know about? No, my name is Taco. I love I named <laughs> Oh my God, this is beautiful. So that's lovely. And there's not a thing I need to do with this. I love how the little, the little eyes are sticking out of the head. Um, that's really cool. And so I'm just going to be able to gate this up and make, uh, make that into a sculpture. So I I've got. Out, I okay. So I've got the dinosaur and the dinosaur right now is eating the hamburger and drinking the soda. And so I can play dolls with the dinosaurs all <laughs> night long. This, this is fun with sculpture we're having here. So um, what I want you guys to do or to try to do is to take a photograph of this with your cell phone. So have you, got, have you been able to take this photograph yet? Okay, and then I want you to upload it to coursework in my Laker link 
because that that is there and it's available and it's actually a, a, a it's an assignment that's closing on the 8th so it closes in three days from now so please upload just a jpeg it's worth 100 points to you because it documents whatever your sculpture was so um i i photographed this one before i started working and i sent it to myself and i'm going to go ahead and send this to halen so she has this to upload in case she doesn't have a, a picture of her uh giraffe and i took this picture of halen's dinosaur and uploaded it to myself so that i could send it to her so that if she doesn't have a picture of this dinosaur, she can upload that to coursework. But that, I need to document your work in wax up to this point. And so that's why I want you guys to, to uh, document this stuff. It doesn't have to be a fancy picture. It can just be just a snapshot on your phone and then um, you know, email it to yourself so that you've got it on your computer and upload it to coursework uh, for Art244 in my Laker link. And, that will satisfy 100 points of this quarter, which is like half your grade. So that's really important. And I want you guys to do that piece of it. Um, I think I can also do some gating of pieces tonight, uh, it, you know, by way of a demonstration. So I can continue doing that. This one, this piece right here is like eight or 10 inches long, and it's about three quarters of an inch thick. So this is going to weigh um it's gonna weigh uh, at least five pounds and this one we'll see you later if you're are you taking no, it out? I gotta go. okay I'm going back on well we'll, go. we'll see you later thank you so this one's gonna cost around thirty dollars and i just checked with zoe to make sure that she was good for spending you know thirty dollars on a sculpture which she was and so we're not going to do anything special like try to hollow this out on the back side to try to save weight or anything like that but this will be a significant bronze casting it will you know, be a five or eight pound, you know, sculpture when we get done with it. And so I always want to just run that by you, what the cost is going to be. Um, I made what, the eyes pop out more. You made the eyes pop out more. Oh my gosh. Okay. So coming in here, Can we're looking at the, okay, those are big poppy outy eyes. Wow. Oh my God. That's really scary. <laughs> um, good job. All right. I'll take it. Have you photographed these? No, like yeah, if you could shoot your sculptures so that you've got them documented, try to try to photograph them maybe, um, you know, on a white piece of paper or something. I'm sorry, off. Um, we're good. We're good. So that um, so that it shows up, and then you're going to want to upload that photograph um, for your first assignment because it's worth 100 points, and that'll be great. Yeah, yeah, you sure can. I'm gonna. Um, start with this uh gating process for this particular piece now i, I have a question real quick. yes how do you make these strong the horn strong because they like they're slow i'm probably going to just hit them with a hot knife and right. weld them a little bit and make them a little stronger but i'm also going to be careful on the first four dips of the patterns to make sure that i don't bend them while right. i am casting them right. with something like this i'm probably going to want to cast it in this orientation in space with the cup up above one end of it and have it kind of vertical and fairly linear as a form. So I'm going to try to put some gates out of the top surfaces of these two lips and bring them into the bottom of the cup up here. And that's gonna kind of be the gating system for this. Wish me luck on all of that, because that'll be interesting. So probably want to use either half inch or three eighths inch round stock for this. Oh my God, help me out here. And I've got some half inch here that's fairly short that I can start this process with. Because since this is three quarters of an inch thick, it's going to take more than just a little bit of bronze. I'm going to cut myself about three inches or so of wax. I'm going to do about two of those about the same size and I'm going to put a little bit of a bend in this thing so that it comes down and catches about there on the form I'm going to put a bend in this one so that it it attaches about there on the form <clears throat> something about like that thank you those are perfect 
And if you photograph them, then you're good. You're done. You can go have a drink now and mm -hmm. celebrate. Just turned 18. Oh my right. gosh. Okay. Good luck. Thank you very much. All right. So I'm going to put this, I, I increased this bend just a little bit because I want to bring this back so that the bottom of the cup is close enough so that I can get, catch both of these ends. So I've got to get this bend happening just a little bit tighter and this bend happening just a little tighter. And then I need to cut these two ends to get that angle to line up with the bottom of the cup like that and like that and now you can start to see the architecture of this come into view here there's one more thing that i want to do and it's little and it's kind of minor but i want the tip of this smile to be fed and or vented and so i'm going to bring it up to the bottom of the cup too something about like this and so these are the three elements that i'm going to weld onto this piece <laughs> and I got to get it close enough to me to do that. So I'm going to do something that goes about like this. No, you're fine. I'm, I'm getting high as a kite. I don't know anything. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. What's going on? I don't know. So I'm firing up the, um, firing up the uh, furnace. I'm firing up the torch right here to get my knife hot. So I can weld this into place. And then we proceed as just like this. We put one here. Ah, you're killing me. All right, we're gonna do it again. <clears throat> just like this. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, very nice. And then this one's gonna come in on this side just just like this. In fact, I can cut that one a little bit shorter too. I'm going to cut this back to about here and then see how that fits. I like that better. Okay, I'm going to bring this, get my hot knife nice and hot, then come in from the side just like this and weld that one on really quickly and then put this on. I don't need near this much of it anymore, do I? So I'm going to cut this a whole lot shorter and put that in there just like this just like this right here just like that okay so with a knife it goes in it comes back out again and voila we are cooked okay so who's joining me now kayla is joining me now hey isn't that cool all right good to see you guys so I am now going to attach this sculpture with its gating system onto this cup. And I see by my old eyes that this cup wax isn't quite, um, it isn't quite welded onto the bottom of the cup nicely. I see a little bit of a gap and I think it's a little bit flexy. And so I have to just re-weld the wax to the bottom of this styrofoam cup. So it doesn't come off in an embarrassing way. And so I'm going to change my camera angle so that you guys can see the piece de resistance. How this all comes together right here. You, you really don't want to hear sculpture teachers speaking French when they're not French, because that's a little scary. All right, so here we go. A little bit of heat on this knife. Wish me luck. I'm going to start with this side right here and I'm going to put this whole thing down here and stick it on there and get the residual wax to come back off my knife again because that's kind of cool. Waiting for the whole thing to freeze up and cool off here. And then I'm going to check all of my welds to make sure that they are all strong and well attached. I wanna make sure that my welds are well attached to the sculpture here and here. I also wanna make sure that the welds are well attached to the bottom of the cup. So none of this stuff is gonna fall apart in the dipping and casting process. And if I did everything right, I now also have something that will stand up 
on the shelf for the drying process, which is part of the casting process. So look at that. Behold, we have lips and teeth and we have it attached to its gating system and pouring cup. And that's a beautiful thing. So I'm gonna put that safely off camera so that it doesn't fall down and break. So I'm just gonna lay it over there for now. And maybe get myself up a dinosaur because everybody likes dinosaur. Yay, okay. So I'm probably gonna change camera angles again, camera views so that you guys get the top down view of this thing. And whoops, not that view. Let's see, go someplace else. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh. So we're doing this right here. We're doing this sculpture dinosaur here. And I'm gonna put four little attachment points on its four little feet and attach that to the pouring cup and that'll be fun. Okay, so are you watching that on your phone over there? God, sorry about that. Okay, this is live TV, everybody. Whee! So I think I'm gonna do this with just a quarter inch um, wax because I think with just little four quarter inch ones, I, I got what I want. I got what I need right here. So I'm gonna cut these about an inch long, maybe three quarters of an inch. Line them all up, cut them all off. Line them up, cut them off. Okay, and then weld them all on. And so since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna put all of that stuff over there so that I can hold this with my left hand and do the quickie quick um, weld stuff here. So without any further ado, we're gonna do this. Without any ado, we're gonna do this stuff right here. One and two, right like that. So here comes number two, attached. Okay, three is on this foot here. That's attached. Four goes onto this foot right here. And put some heat on that and then that's attached. Okay. All right, so here's my pouring cup and I'm just gonna I'm just going to do this every time just to make sure that the meniscus of wax is attached to the bottom of the cup because it's a thing. We don't want it coming loose. And this, because there's a little bit of spread between these four um, sprues that are going to attach, I'm going to use the tuck pointing trowel as my um, uh, the thing that I'm going to use here. So I'm going to get it nice and hot. I've got it so hot that it's flaming. It's on fire. And so I'm going to take this and start on the long ones. And when I've got them all melted at the same time, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to pour any excess wax that's sitting on the trowel onto the bottom of my thing. Kill the flame for just a minute and show you guys inside view this is the gated piece and it's all ready to go and it's bulletproof because I could even drop it on the ground and it didn't go any place. So that's fun and that's a gated piece. I'm gonna set that over here. And as long as I'm gating dinosaurs, look at this, here's another dinosaur. Let's gate this one up. This will be fun, same deal. I'm gonna do it the same way, except I may run another gate over to the tail two so let's kind of pre-bend this for the tail and go on out there to the tail i may have to kind of do a little s curve for this so that it goes about like that and i'm going to cut them off there like that okay and so it's kind of cute that way i like to do things that are cute and so um, light them up, weld it on, just like that. It doesn't have to go all the way out to the tip of the tail. You know, about two thirds of the way out is just fine. And I'm gonna 
I'm just going to try to let go of it and set it down. I might have to bring in something that will be a temporary prop to hold it up and hold it in place while I'm goofing around with the other stuff. So now I'm going to make four legs. Again, they're going to be about an inch long or so. I'm going to maybe put some angle cuts on them and do something about like that. Okay. And so I'm going to do two on this side. I'll probably have to do two on the top side and then flip it over and do two on the bottom side. And so we're going to do this. Weld and weld. My phone is going off. I can't believe this. How did I get to be so popular? It's probably my son at home. Where's my dinner? Where's food? So anyway, I'm not going to answer that phone because I'm busy. And this is probably driving you guys crazy. You know, a phone is calling me and I'm, I refuse to answer it. Do you ever do that? No. You can, you can, um, you can resist the temptation to answer a phone, to look at a text. I generally just shut the call off. Uh, it's actually but you're actually calling me. Okay. It's immediate voicemail. <laughs> yes. Straight that. to voicemail, huh? All right. I'm going to do the thing that I've been doing here and weld this just a little bit. I don't have to do it great because I'm holding on to something and I don't want to set it down. So, but a little cursory couple of welds around here is. Just nice, and I'm gonna take my tuck pointing trowel, get it nice and hot, and get this ready to weld in here. And then with a nice hot tuck pointing trowel, I wanna to get to where I'm making contact with all five of my sprues and set them down onto the top of the cup. And I want to do a reveal, but I have to wait like five seconds for all of this wax to congeal and harden up and cool off a little bit. And then I can do the reveal. And there is your gating system that feeds a lot of the dinosaur and makes everybody happy, including and especially the artist who worked so hard on this dinosaur and everything. So that is a bunch of tonight. I think I'm going to um, answer anybody's question in case you have a question. Do you, does anybody have a question or comment for me tonight? I'm going to take my um, camera back to my face. There's my face. And I've got my little overhead cam thing here so I can move this off to the side. And so any of you lovely, wonderful people, um, questions, comments, anything else, if you guys can finish up these sculptures over the weekend and bring them in on Monday, that would be great. Um, if you bring them in tomorrow or Friday, that would be good too. The, um, the assignment for the, the photograph of your wax sculpture, uploading the photo of your wax sculpture for 100 points closes on the 8th. That doesn't mean that you know I can't reopen it in case you know you aren't quite done yet or whatever. But you can take a photograph of it that isn't finished. I don't need a finished version of your sculpture. I just need some kind of a version of your sculpture so I I know which uh, sculptures belong to whom, and you know that you did accomplish something in the first half of the quarter. So take a quick uh, cell phone uh, photo of this against a neutral background and upload it um, <clears throat> in coursework. It's the only assignment so far in co coursework and it's worth hundred points for you. So please do that. Seeing nobody attempting to make a comment or a question, no um, microphones are coming um, unmuted. I'm gonna say goodbye from for now from here. Um, I'm going to continue working with Aurora with her sculptures that she's working on in the background here in the room, and we'll get some things gated up so that we can do casting. We're not probably going to be able to do casting next week 
Next week is going to be a little bit of downtime while I'm still working on getting up the pieces that are coming in and finishing this up. So we now have a little bit of downtime in the quarter. Please write the papers that you're supposed to write or get caught up on the math homework that you're, that you're so far behind on. This is a really good time for catch up because I'm not going to have anything for you to do except to finish this wax sculpture and bring it in here for the casting process. So have a good rest of your week and I'll see you guys probably next Monday if uh, not before. I've got to find my mouse to end this thing. Bye for now.